is the deal guys it's your boy z85 ju we are back here with another video and right here in front of me we have the new transmission swap mount kit and this one is from loj conversions and it's not specifically for the 2jz but it is for the 370z i think they do mainly like ls and just a lot of stuff like that but i went ahead and lined up the factory transmission mount right here to it and you guys can see from the last video that it does line up so you can see the two bolt holes right here they do line up on this side and then if you come over here you can see the same thing they are fully lined up so i'm very confident that uh this one will work i don't want to get my hopes up yet uh, but if you guys did miss the last video go ahead and please click up here and watch that without further ado let's go ahead and assemble this and try to get this thing in the car so we can finally 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 have our transmission bolted up to the car let's go so after taking a look at the instructions uh, it looks like this is how it's going to sit so right now we're actually looking down so say if the transmission was here we're looking down like that so obviously these will bolt to the car and this right here is going to bolt up just like that to the underside of the transmission so this will basically be the polyurethane mount and then from that that is going to bolt to here so once it's all said and done it's going to look like that uh, from the bottom looking up you no know, it's kind of confusing but um, i will show you guys once i get it on so my first mission is uh, just putting this little bracket thing here over here and we're going to mount this to the car first and then from there we're going to mount this to that and then uh, try to get everything to line up so we'll see how far we get and i'll show you guys in a bit so coming under the car you guys can see the two bolt holes right there so that's exactly where this mount right here it's really hard to do it with one hand but that's exactly where that's going to mount to just to kind of give you guys an idea we're going to mount that first there and then from that on the bottom of this thing here we're going to mount the actual transmission mount and then uh they will line up with the actual mounts on the car so again let's go ahead and get started <sighs> so unfortunately actually let me just show you guys man so once you step under here you guys will finally see that our trans mount is finally installed man this has been such a struggle and a pain to do by myself and i don't mean to be like complaining all the time about like working on it myself this and that but it's just like certain things are easier with two people and as dumb as that might sound you guys are familiar this is a 2jz an inline six in a nissan 370z this car came with a v6 this is now an inline six a lot of stuff is different a lot of these parts aren't necessarily direct bolt-on yes these are swap kits and all that kind of stuff but uh yeah they aren't directly you know bolt on um, actually if you see right here um, it actually tells you like all of the transmissions and stuff like that that this thing can fit but um but yeah this is a uh, loj conversions definitely check them out like i said it is on here but it did take a bunch of finagling you know i had to put like one bolt here put another bolt here tighten that side down maybe then tighten this side down then loosen something so it was definitely a process but um you guys can see i have the polyurethane bushing in here that is fully uh, secured to the transmission and then from that i have the actual transmission mount fully bolted down got both bolts over here and then both over there as well and then as well as the two in the middle so this thing is holding itself up which is very very nice and cool to see and good news it looks like our little outlet right here is uh, directly center the only thing i was looking at under here you guys can kind of see i don't know how well you can see i might not be physically straight up and down right now but the shifter is like kind of leaning to the side so i was wondering if maybe if i go to the top and just kind of loosen these top there's two bolts right here if i loosen it maybe i can like shift it over and then tighten it down and that might straighten my my stuff up up top but uh i'll double check it now now that this is fully bolted in uh because i haven't went up to see where the placement is right now but at least from looking under the car it looks like it is still a little bit to the side and it, it may just be where like i tightened it we all have those bolts on the car where it's like if you don't tighten it the right place or the right time something like that something's not gonna be aligned for example maybe like a hood if you guys have ever taken off your hood before you guys know if you don't tighten it and kind of pull it pull the hood out and this and that like it's not going to line up exactly so that's kind of what i'm thinking with this and i mean honestly it's worth a shot you know why not but definitely happy that this is in now that this is in and, and straight i can take my measurement from here all the way back to the um diff right there and i uh, get the measurement for that to go ahead and get the drive shaft on order so that way once that's in the the drive chain will be fully 
done and installed. So that's just a really, really cool and really nice to see. If you guys are excited, man, please drop me a thumbs up on this video. This is uh, definitely some good news out of uh, a lot of the videos lately. You know, some of the stuff not fitting and just having to modify a lot of things uh, lately have just been the case. But uh, with this one, it definitely uh, turned around. So definitely check them out, LOJ Conversions. And um, yeah, love this piece, man. Love it. Like casually cruising too, and like let's see, let's see if uh, let's see if we can get a run. You guys already see we're at Cars and Coffee. Hopefully we can try to link up with that Civic because that Civic was dope, bro. That was some good runs, but I don't know. We're gonna see if we can try to find them. out right here is this g-wagon look at these sick wheels bro these are so dope but i'm trying to figure out is it, if it's lowered or if it's just the wheels i don't know i think it is an older one though because it doesn't have like the long display dash up there but this is so sick this is so sick yep g63 amg definitely the one that uh that tiana wants for sure got the carbon little bits those wheels are hard yeah they are tough what are these? 24s. Dang. Let's throw these on a Z, bro. <laughs> 240Z, 280Z. I can never really tell. You guys could probably let me know. 240Z or 280Z? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I honestly don't have a way of knowing that myself. So. Yeah. I don't know. But Oh, it's a 280Z. His Instagram's on the side. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now this is pretty cool. Really sleek. Clean interior. I'm sure this car is very, very old. And uh... Yeah, interior looks honestly immaculate, which is really cool. 
Yeah, I like these cars, but let me not say anything. I think the owners are here. But we're gonna we're gonna keep walking. And of course, Robert's uh, very familiar with these now. <laughs> Yo, oh, this is a. Got that, uh, that's from custom. Yeah, that's custom. Yeah, the custom. This is actually yeah. a one and a half J. So yeah. two Jay Z bottom in, one Jay Z head. Um, that's pretty dope. Yeah, we it's, just did the fuel lines and stuff, so kind of similar. It's crazy because this is the same manifold that you have, but for some reason it looks like it looks bigger in this car. It looked like it wouldn't fit in your, fit in your car. Really? It looks like it wouldn't fit, no. Because it's huge. Yeah, it is actually like a really big piece. Um, okay. Yeah, it actually is, is the same one because... I have that too, this big throttle body. It's, I think it's like a 90 millimeter throttle body, but I didn't want to run that just because obviously I don't want to do uh, the drive-by cable setup. But that, that's what I need too. Yeah, it does actually. Oh, it might, huh? Actually, no, I shipped that to North Carolina, so probably not, but that's pretty cool. I like where he put his uh, boost controller solenoid too. Pretty sick. And then it has like the fuse and like, actually, we're actually really clean. I like that. Looks like he made a bracket for that. Yeah, he did, yeah. That's sick another car I wanted to check out this M3 is so clean the fitment is nice and then the seats oh, I like the steering wheel bro this is this is like a clean interior like not too much done I mean literally just yeah seats I like the seats I like that steering wheel I like yeah. that shifter I like how it looks new the center console looks new bro yeah exactly right like looks well taken care of very well taken care of yeah, this this is so clean. Paint is immaculate too. I like how those tires wrap around those wheels. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at his license plate, bro. No nav. <laughs> no nav. Nah, this is this is clean. Yeah, roof is immaculate too. I don't see any blemishes on this car at all. And the fitment is just like he said, chef's kiss, bro. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got the lip. Look, my boy Robert, look, got the yeah. lip. <laughs> this was always, every time somebody, he's like, oh, bro, need a lip, need a lip. So, has a lip. So, right now, we are actually going to go ahead and walk towards the supercars before they leave because they actually tend to leave before anybody else. But hopefully, we can run into the guy with the Civic, man. I really want him to just give us a breakdown about his car because his car was quick. I think if I had to guess, I would imagine that it's boost by gear, just the way like it was pulling and stuff, like at higher gears. Every time he shifted, it felt like it looked like the car got faster. So hopefully we can run into him. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out these supercars. Can we really just appreciate this car meet? Like all of the supercars that come here, like they, they they never disappoint, bro. Like you have what is this? An SV here. You have the Viper. You have another Aventador. And then what is that? A Countach? I don't. I think it's a Countach. It looks like. Dang, this fool lets everybody just like sign it. That's so funny. This is like a. Uh, Something you like, Stradman. I feel like you know, oh, obviously yeah. went on. Is it? This is a Countach, I would yeah, imagine. Right? This. Countach. Yeah. Oh yeah, in white, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know the vintage Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Like it, but. yeah, it does, but it could be no, honestly. That's it a, could be like a Yeah, yeah. That was like some. No, it's an L story. <laughs> LP640. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They all, yeah. Don't really know the uh, the older older ones, but uh, yeah, like the newer 458. You got the Bentley Continental. The Huracan, dang this color combo goes crazy. El Dorito, <laughs> this fool, bro. <laughs> this fool. Nah, that is sick though. This this is nice. I like the uh, the wheels with the paint color. The interior, I mean, it's clean, but I don't know how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, it is nice, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at that. When it hits the sun, bro. Jeez, that thing is clean, bro. So clean. I think definitely one of my all-time favorites, bro, has to be has to be 720S, bro. 720, uh, what is it, 765 LT, like all of those type of specs, bro. Like so aggressive, but also very very expensive. Yeah, yeah, twin turbo. Yeah, I just love how like the exhausts are like here. I think for the other ones they come like there too, right? So like that that's so cool. Peep the interior too, man. This thing is so cool. Yeah, the seats are crazy in this thing, bro. Honestly, couldn't even imagine like driving this car, bro. Like, yeah, that's yeah. That's like total race car. It like it probably wouldn't even feel right to drive it like on the street. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, just look at the presence of this hurricane. That is so clean, bro. The carbon. The 
Aventador. Dude, there's just something about those cars, man. It's so clean. You guys already know this fool, bro. Uh, and white too. And you have the cage. I think is this the same one that we saw last time that you uh, took a picture no, of? It was yellow. It was, no, no, no. It was yellow. It was Insert picture here. It was literally this car, bro. It was literally this car. Cause I remember, yeah, it was white. Had the white cage. I remember I told you to take a picture from the front and the back. Yeah. I think it was literally this car, bro. GT3 RS. Yeah. These. This thing is sick. What do you think about this one with the color and everything? You like it? Um. It hits, bro. You can't, you can't. Yeah, yeah it hits, hard. it hits. Like, like I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but like, look at the left side of it, bro. This, this hits. It gives me my Miami vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, why. Miami vibes yeah. or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is this is tough, bro. I love like the carbon wing. I don't know. Yeah, th this is nice. I don't know about the wheels though. I think like I think since the color is so bright, I think it'd be exactly right, like a, a brighter. I mean, I'm not even white wheels, but it needs white wheels. And he needs to change the color. Yeah. This is dope. This one, on the other hand, is is, is sick too, though. It's like kind of like that classic Porsche. I just want that wing, bro. Look how look how sick that wing. Is. Which one? This one? Well, all of them. Obviously, that one's definitely my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. So dope. Okay, is it uh is it Porsche or is it Porsche? Uh, if you're asking, what is it, German? It's yeah, Porsche. Porsche. It's Porsche. Yeah. Oh, bro. This is tough. Dang, that is dope, bro. I love those wheels. Those are very, very clean. Spice daddy. Spicy. For sure. Especially the recipe. <laughs> There's 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 Plankton, bro. <laughs> nah, that that's dope. And then this is the uh, yeah the exhaust I was talking about through there. Oh, he got it at West Coast Exotics too, but that's pretty clean. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, look at the hurricane. You just walk over there. I was just about to say. I was just about to ask you, like, bro. I don't think that's yeah, yeah, supercharged. Dang, yeah. So supercharged. Uh, I guess Evo. I don't know. Yeah. Does it say on the side? Yeah. Hurricane Evo. Yeah, yeah. But uh, dang, so it's supercharged. That's crazy. This color is uh, talking to me, <laughs> and it's paint, which is uh, pretty cool. That's dope. I don't know, bro. All all of them, and like this one is like clean, bro. The fitment, is, I said, out of all of them, I mean, like the fitment is super clean on this yeah. one. What the hell is that? Definitely not. Oh, out. Not. Sorry. Right, no sure. way. No way. You know what you said here? Sorry. Yeah. Are you English? Yeah, you can't be on that here. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I, I don't care. You're a private property. You can't drive that. I just need you not on this in this parking lot, please. No. Yeah, well, I'm not going to get in their business, but you can clearly see he's not supposed to be doing that out here. But, anyways, uh, I guess while the crowd is focused on him. Hold on. Did you catch that this is full carbon fiber? Oh my god, I did not. I just actually saw that. <laughs> that is actually it for this video. I'm going to do a part two, so stay tuned to the next video. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave me a like comment and don't forget to subscribe to your boy man other than that i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace tell them subscribe 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 subscribe